two of us, the Buffalo Perch Killer. And as you can see, I got my hands full once again. What we have here, man, it's got to be a good 40 pounds of meat. We got a lot of salmon here. This is the salmon that we caught yesterday at uh, our cop here. We got some fillets and we got some stuff that I chopped up. What we're going to do today is we're, we're going to attempt to cure this meat. Hope this video comes out good because I'm not sure about the angle. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a brine out of uh, brown sugar and kosher salt. So this bag right here is 32 ounces of uh, brown sugar. We're going to add the kosher salt. We're, we're, I'm preparing this. I'm preparing this. Uh, let's see how many cups that is. I'm preparing this to get a. Uh, to get smoked is what we're gonna do. So that's pretty much two and a half. That's about four cups of sugar. Four cups of sugar, let's go. Four cups. Let's go half. Two cups of salt. Like I said, that's kosher salt, it's not table salt. Kosher salt. That's what we're using. Let's get this a good stir. We don't want it too salty, but then we need that salt to do its job. The salt is what's gonna it's going to uh, cure the meat. So let me see. So that's that was four cups and two cups. So that's not really 50-50. So let's 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 go a little bit more to try to make it close to 50-50. So if that was two cups. Let's go another cup. It's not gonna hurt. Alright. Alright, so this is this is gonna be a brine for the meat. So I have to make some more. I got plenty more brown sugar and kosher salt to, to get some more made. start with are these fillets. It's the perch killer's fish board. This is the perch killer's fish board here. This is, nothing, not, this is mine for fishing. Nothing else. I get a lot of comments on me using this board. So this one I'm going to do in strips. Let's see how that turns out. I'm actually going to do couple of different cuts on this thing. The first one I'm going to do in strips. The second one I'm going to do like I have it already cut up over there. And then the third I'm going to do without the skin on. Alright, so these strips, we're going to put aside this stuff where they say don't use metal. So let me get it stripped up and then I'll chunk it up. This knife might not be the sharpest one for this job right here. Yeah, I got a lot of knives on on hand because I didn't know which one was going to work right. So I guess we're about to find out. I guess uh, curing meat has been around for centuries. So I'm just going to take this one here, I'm going to cut it right there. Let's see. I'm going to line these up in the bottom of this pan here. 
perfect size right in there. Start putting the, the brine stuff on it. They say you're supposed to cover the meat. So what we're going to do is make sure all the meat is covered. Okay, we got that covered. Oh, I forgot one step. I'm also going to add this smokehouse seasoning to mine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it on this piece here. I'm going to cut this right here. Fill the bone in this one. You said we're supposed to put 20, put 27 bones out with pliers, but we're gonna wait till we cook it. So I'm gonna set that there. I'm gonna set that here. Now I'm gonna put the seasoning on. So this seasoning absorbs up under the brine first. Perch kill is busy. Smokehouse seasoning. Board of brine. Be real generous with the brine. Get it all covered. Let's see if we can get another one in there. Let's get this chunk in there somewhere. That yeah, looks like it's going to be a good piece. It's not too thick. Some smokehouse on it. Now, a lot of people say, four to, I watch a ton of videos, just like I know you guys do too. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do mine for 24 hours. Beautiful salmon. King salmon is what this is. Get this fin off of here. We don't need that fin. We can't eat that, can we? Let's see. So we're going to do it the same way we did the others. Hopefully I can get a lot of this in there. This thinner stuff is probably going to be really, really good. Smokehouse it down. Hopefully this will absorb in into the meat first before the brine does. Give a little extra flavor. You guys haven't subscribed to my channel. I get in there. I just came from a local pond, pedaling around trying to relax. Yesterday we were at the uh, all cop here into the weather. I'm gonna post a video tonight. You'll see how bad the weather got chased us out of there. There were about six kings caught. Yesterday, between the hours of uh, uh, maybe 10 to uh, 10 to 2, no, 10 to 1, between hour to 10 to 1, there were only six kings caught on the, on the pier on the right side. You guys know what I'm talking about. Wow, that skin is tough, man. We just bigger enough to cut in there. Wow, that is tough. Scary. So be careful with this. With knives. I told my wife to buy me a bubble knife for Christmas. I told her she heard me. Alright. So I got that one done. Place this right here. Get that one right next to it. If I'm running out of space, I'm going to try to squeeze them in there. Smokehouse.
of people say only four hours, eight hours. I'm going full 24. I am not scared. I'm going to go full 24 hours on the brine. And then I'll show you the drying process after that. So there we have it. We have one full container. Oh, look at there on the sides. There's no brine on the sides, but when it liquefies, hopefully it'll get on the sides there. Oh man, I didn't put none on the sides. So if I put some down in here. So what I'm going to do is when this liquefies, I'm going to rotate them around to get them where they're supposed to be. All right. So that's our first container. That's heavy too. Of, of uh, salmon to be cured. All right. So um, I'm not going to bore you with me doing it all. But you can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to do these chunks here like that. I'm going to put these in just like they are. I'm just going to trim them up a little bit, get the thin stuff off. And I'm going to put these chunks in just like they are. These two fillets, I'm going to skin them. Take the skin off and just do those just like I did the other ones. So I got my hands full. Let me go ahead and take care of these two, get these in containers. And then I'll download the videos from yesterday. And then we'll start over again 24 hours when these liquefy and everything else. All right. So I'm the Buffalo Perch Killer, fishing out of Buffalo, New York, and all the surrounding counties. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please push the subscribe button. Push the subscribe button, the like button. Follow me on my adventures. And uh, let me get this done. All right. It's the Buffalo Perch Killer. YouTube, YouTube. It's the Buffalo Perch Killer. There we go. We got one. We got three containers to go. Got a lot of meat to finish. So let me get that done, and I'll, I'll get that get back to you. Buffalo Perch Killer out.